long for being able to um, project their tongues out, their projectile tongues, and capture their prey and then pull the prey back into, into their mouths. Their, their tongues actually can project out um, approximately the length of their bodies in, uh, in some species. So um, we haven't gotten over it yet, but the, uh, the way it works is the, um, the tongue is attached to the hyoid bone. You guys know what the hyoid bone is? It's Adam's out. Right, but in these guys, it's, it's modified. The hyoid bone is attached to the tongue. And uh, it's the hyoid bone that's involved in the whole process of shooting the tongue out of the mouth. Now we'll get to how that happens um, in one of the chapters, but I wanted to show you the hyoid bone where it's actually, um, where it projects out of the, uh, the neck region and the size of it. So this is, this is the neck region, here's the mouth, right? You're looking at the, the mouth and now you're looking at um, the ventral surface of the animal. And I opened up the, the neck region and that big rod you see there, that's the hyoid bone. It's actually split. See that? So the hyoid bone is, um, it ends right there, bottom of the screen, and projects all the way up into the throat. And there's actually, um, you see how these are long and cylindrical? There's actually a muscle that sits over it that I've cut out now, but there's a muscle that sits over it, and when that muscle squeezes, it pushes the hyoid bone forward. It's kind of like if you were holding a watermelon pit, but watermelons used to have pits, right? So if you were holding a watermelon pit in your hand and you squeezed it, it would shoot out of your hand, right? Yes, you know what I'm talking about? It's the same idea. Picture a muscle around the, um, two muscles around each of these legs of the hyoid bone. Those muscles squeeze and that pushes the hyoid bone forward and because it's attached to the tongue, that projects the the tongue out of the mouth. Got it? All right, so I wanted to show you that before I cut any further because you're not going to be able to see the hyoid bone very well uh, after I cut into it. If you guys want to